Aquaculture is the growing of plants or animals under controlled conditions. Aquaculture is considered agriculture because it's growing food and food items in water. The number of species is very diversified here in Hawaii. We grow both freshwater and marine species. Most of the aquaculture being done on Maui is small-scale backyard systems much like this. We're um, at the Paia Training Center. We have uh, various departments here. This is the aquaculture department where we have an aquaponics project that we've been doing for nearly two years. It was brought to us originally by University of Arizona working with the University of Hawaii Sea Grant Program, County of Maui Office of Economic Development, and USDA. Uh, they encouraged us to, to be setting up, working with them to set up individual systems so that each, each family that would be setting up a system would become an incubator. Uh, we've set up 12 systems. We set up a system just like the one you see here it, as an educational model so that we could bring students here who were interested in setting up family backyard aquaculture systems. To show that families could grow their own food in their backyard with the minimum effort and supplement their income as well if that's what they wanted to pursue. This particular system is an aquaponics system which combines aquaculture and hydroponics. Hydroponics is growing vegetables in water. Basically what we have here is about a 700 gallon tank we can put uh, up to 100 fish in it, usually tilapia or catfish. They can withstand the, the swings in pH. In the center of the tank, you'll see a, there's, a, there's a drain. So the water goes out and it goes into the bottom of this tank over here, which is a settling tank. The, uh, the undissolved solids settle to the bottom of the tank. The water percolates up in the settling tank, percolates up about halfway, and it goes out a pipe in the middle and runs into another tank that has these little blue multi-surface plastic balls, we call them bio balls. The water runs from that filter into a grow bed, which is five or six inches of water. And that water going into the grow bed then has uh, nitrites and nitrates dissolved in the water from the, from the fish emulsion. And then we have uh, trays, styrofoam trays with baskets. So we put a special medium, we, we mix a special medium in there rock wool with clay balls or cinders. We start the lettuce, get, get little lettuce starts or broadleaf vegetable starts, and then we put them in the baskets in the, in the floating uh, trays. The roots hang down, they grow down through the bottom of the basket into the water, and they take the nutrients out of the water. So then the plants take the nutrients out of the water, and it cleans the water enough so that we can pump the water back up to the fish. So you have a recirculating system. It uses the water over and over. Our mission is to, is to be doing things that promote uh, sustainable food and energy uh, production. And part of that is also collecting water, uh, water catchment. Thanks to the help of uh, HCNS Plantation and A and B, all the water that we use in our aquaculture system, we can use catchment water. And so for sustainability, for food sustainability, families will be able to lower their food bill. And that was our mission when we started this. So you can grow at least six crops of broadleaf vegetables with 100 fish. That's a lot of vegetables. I started with about what, 40, 30 to 40 uh, baby catfish. And they supplied me all the tanks, pumps, and everything. And so far as of now, I've been, they've been doing pretty well. I grow lettuce, herbal plants, all kinds that can grow in water and uh, it's been really effective. Uh, I make use of the vegetables. We were looking for a way to create more mulch for the garden and for our fruit trees, as well as um, more nutrients for our soil. And this seemed like an ideal situation because we also get the benefit of the fish to eat. Pretty much growing all of the produce that we eat. So it's subsistence farming, we're not commercial farmers. By having the hydroponic set up, we can siphon water off of it and use it as, as a liquid fertilizer. We found that, um, for instance, our taro really thrives on it. And the water hyacinth is very prolific, so every couple of weeks I can take at least half of what's grown in there out, and mulch with it. Helps fight back the weeds, and it also holds in the moisture, and then as it breaks down, it becomes nutrient for the soil as well. We have golden tilapia, 
And um, it's a real mild fish. Make ceviche out of it or pan fry it or bake it. It's, it's pretty versatile fish. It's, it's a pretty inexpensive way to provide both the protein from the fish and have the system for, the, for watering the garden. You know, we've perfected the system, so now we can expand this quite a lot. There's a group over in Waianae, my old farm, student worker program. They're doing basically what we're doing. They're doing it on a larger scale, producing about $4,000 a month in produce for them right now. So we use our students in our Teens on Call program and our Paya Training Center program uh, to help set up new systems, to maintain our system. And the students are all a part of this. This is all student built and uh, it's for the benefit of the students, for everybody, for our community, feed our community. Thank you.